And now we're talking with John Stenberger with the Florida Family Policy Council. John, thanks for dropping by. It's great to be here with you. Yeah, tell me a little bit about your group. Where are you based? How many people work with you? That kind of thing. Well, the Florida Family Policy Council it has offices in Tallahassee and Orlando, and we are a faith-based policy organization that is concerned about anything that has to do with family and law and public policy. Uh, we have about five or six staff members, depending upon what time of the year it is. Yeah. And um, our mission really is to uh, strengthen Florida's families. Tell me about your key issues. What is important to Florida that you hit over and over again? Well, our three key issues are, number one, the protection of marriage and traditional family uh, structures. Number two is the sanctity of human life, all the way from uh, conception all the way to natural death. And then number three is judicial issues and legal issues. And the reason those are important is because much of what's been foisted upon the family in terms of bad things for the family has come not from duly elected legislative bodies, but they've come from unaccountable, unelected judges. And so we're very concerned with judicial activism uh, and holding the judiciary accountable. Tell me how you go about the work of influencing lawmakers and also influencing outcomes in other venues. How do you do that? Well, we have a Tallahassee-based office. Our vice president, Nathan Dunn, is on the ground there uh, watching what's going on, checking for the legislators that vote yes on the bill and no on the amendment. Uh, he's there in the smoke-filled rooms, and he lets our constituents know from our email alerts, um, you know, what exactly is going on with the bills, the critical bills relating to crucial moral and social issues that affect the family. Yeah. What's ahead for your group? Uh, what do you see down the road? Our big project is the marriage amendment in 2008. And as you know, uh, we, may, we have a 60 percent hurdle. We have to get 60 percent in the general election in order to prevail in any constitutional amendment in Florida. So it's a heroic task. Uh, so we're going to have really the most robust, well-funded, aggressive campaign in any state's history on this issue. Uh, so we're going to need all the help and resources of churches, of, of activists, of ordinary citizens that just need to vote the right way on this issue to define marriage between one man and one woman. These fights can take a lot out of a person. What keeps you motivated? What keeps you energized? You know, uh, probably the little kids in my home, the five, the two-year-old, uh, and, and my little baby. Uh, and just knowing that God has really just designed me to do this. This is just what he's created me to do. Um, it's just a calling. I, I can't do anything else but do it. It's, it's, it's just that simple for me. All right. Thank you, John.